It has now been approximately 20 years since the berry industry has transitioned from growing in the open field to producing in a protected environment using conventional tunnels. The next stage in the evolution of the berry production system is to use automated retractable roof houses, which will automatically open and close based on outdoor weather conditions. This allows growers to take advantage of the natural outdoors. They can grow in a protected environment when outdoor conditions adverse, but in addition, they can now include climate optimization in their production management system to help increase yield, fruit size, reduce disease and insect pressure and reduce their overall cost of production and most importantly help them shift the production season to the time of the year when supplies are tight and prices are the best. So to support growers who want to transition from tunnels into an automated retractable roof we have now converted two of the houses at our demonstration center in Culiacan, Mexico from vegetables into berries. And so we have partnered with the Giddings Company this year to grow blackberries and raspberries. And we will also be growing the Biloxi blueberry in partnership with Plant America. So over the next season, we will be learning how these crops are developing when growing in a very hot climate Berries are normally never produced in this area due to the excessive radiation and heat. So we are trying to do something that has never been done before. And so we will be working on the set points, when to open and close, how far to open and close. You can see that we've included a low pressure misting system to allow us to manage humidity levels. And we're going to be looking at the plant development in order to figure out the best production strategy. Now for those growers that want to learn more, we organize tours here to Mexico every April and May so that people can come and see these crops actually growing in these conditions. Now not everyone is growing at latitude 24 at sea level, so we have now added a second demonstration and training center in Irapuato, Mexico, which is at latitude 21, but the elevation is 1,700 meters and we will again be using these same varieties of raspberries, blackberries and blueberries so we can monitor how the plants are developing in an extremely hot climate here in Culiacan but also how is the plant response changing when we go to Irapuato where they will have super high radiation in the summer because of the high elevation but also the nighttime temperatures in the winter and daytime temperatures in the winter will be quite cool. And so by the end of this season we will start to have a comparison of the same genetics being produced both at a high elevation and a low elevation at latitude 21 to 24. So those, those of you that would like to learn more about that transition from tunnel to climate optimization, you're more than welcome to come and visit our demonstration and training centers in 2019.